everyone, so today's makeup tutorial is perfect for Halloween if you want to go with something cute and pretty. This is a fairy look. I don't know, I just made it up as I went. You could also use this for like a unicorn makeup tutorial or something if you want to be a unicorn for Halloween. Add a little horn, that would be really cute. Um, but I was just inspired by like pinks and purples and I really like how it came out. Also, I did do this as a collaboration with my friend Alex Faction. You might have seen our clown collaboration. I'll link it down below. But this time we did a look which is perfect for like a couple's um, Halloween costume so it's like fairy and elf so I did the pretty good fairy as you guys already know and then he did a really cool like elf like it's like dark but soft I don't know you guys know what I mean but really cool idea for couples on Halloween First of all, I am just priming my skin because even though it's Halloween, we still want our makeup to look flawless for as long as possible. Um, so I'm using two, I'm using a spray primer and also just a normal primer. And then I'm going in with a full coverage foundation just to make my skin look nice and flawless. After my skin is nice and flawless and even and covered, I'm taking some well rested underneath my eyes just to brighten the area. And then I'm taking a different powder and just putting that on the rest of my face just to make sure that my foundation lasts all day long. And then I'm using a couple of creamy colors on my eyebrows, some pinks to match my wig and a dark brown to match my wig because the wig I'm wearing has like a really dark brown root area. So I'm just doing like kind of ombre eyebrows. You can do them however you want. You can even do them normal if you like, like how you would normally do them if you're not wearing a wig or you could play around with colors. It's totally up to you. I just hope that this video can give you a little bit of inspiration. So on the eyeshadow, I'm taking an iridescent kind of shimmery pink and popping that on the upper crease and brow bone. Um, and then after that, I am taking a hot pink and a purpley color. Um, the hot pink, I'm putting into the crease a little bit and sort of focusing this on the top of the crease as well because I'm going to kind of do a cut crease like sort of um and then i'm taking the dark purple and intensifying that crease area I want my look to be quite intense and bright so I'm adding some more hot pink and I'm also putting some on the lower lash line just like you can see here. I want it to be super super bright but it's totally up to you. Next I'm taking a silver by Colourpop. I love this colour. This was the first time I used it but it's so pretty. Um, and I'm just putting that on the inner corners and I also put this on my brow bone and on my eyelid with my finger. Next up, I am contouring my face and I'm doing quite a deep contour, meaning I am bringing the contour color quite close to my mouth because I want my face to look super chiseled and defined. I'm going a little bit crazy because, you know, it is a Halloween costume, so you can, you know, do a little bit extra. And I'm also doing that on my temples and on my nose a little bit. And then to finish off the eyes, I'm just taking a really dark bluey purple color and drawing in a line on top of my crease, as you can see here. Next up is liquid eyeliner. I'm just kind of following that shape of that crease line and doing a wing and I'm doing it semi thick. That was not on purpose. I was planning on doing a really thin line but you guys know how it is. Um, and then I'm taking a dark purple and popping that in the waterline. You could use any purple eyeliner you have. I just use this cream color. And then on my lips, I'm doing a really nice soft pink with glitter. So I'm starting with a medium pink liner um, and just filling in my lips with this. And then I'm taking a really pale milky pink and putting that all over my lips and then I'm taking a couple of different like glittery shades one's makeup forever and one is NYX you could use whatever you have at home and I'm just kind of tapping that on with my finger and then once I'm done with that I'm just outlining my lips a little bit to make them a little bit ombre Of course, add your mascara, and if you want to use falsies, go ahead and do that. I'm just using some from EXO Beauty. They are called the Feline, and they go perfectly with this look. I really like how they turned out.
Next up, just for some fun glam, I'm taking a white eyeliner and just dotting random dots around like above my eyebrow and on my cheekbone um, and then I am just letting that dry. I almost forgot to add my blush and I'm going to use a really, really, really pale pink. It looks so pretty and kind of like ethereal looking and just, I don't know, I just really like the look um, and then I'm also gonna highlight before I forget because I am gonna stick on some gems on my face so you just want to do this first obviously I just forgot um, so I'm using a pinky one and then I think I use champagne pop on top of it can you figure out if this is champagne pop I'm trying to figure it out just by looking at it I think it's champagne pop but anyway I'm just doing lots of highlighter and then the gems I'm using are just pearls and diamantes and I'm just scattering them randomly around where I did those white dots and I think it looks so so pretty. I am just using a little bit of lash glue by the way to stick these on and that just ensures that they don't fall off throughout the night and they stuck really 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 well and they're really easy to remove as well. Next up, I'm putting on my wig. I was about to say applying my wig, which sounds really weird. But yeah, I just got this off Rockstar Wigs. I paid for this myself, and I'm really happy with it. It's the same as that blue one I used in my other fairy look. But yeah, it's pink, and it looks so pretty. You don't have to wear a wig, of course, but I just think it really finishes off the look. Um, and then I am taking a little bit of a light pink blush, the one I used earlier, and running that through the beginning of my eyebrows just to add a little bit more... I don't know, softness to the look. And then I'm just applying some butterflies into my hair. I used a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of lash glue and they just sat there nicely. And you can just buy all these things that I'm using from like um, any shop that sells scrapbooking goods. I got mine from the warehouse. Um, and then my little flower halo is from Etsy. I really, really like it. I'll try to link everything down below for you guys. But yeah, this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoy it. So many of you gave me so many nice comments and compliments when I put the pictures up on Instagram and Facebook. So thank you guys so much. And if you recreate it, please send me photos. I would love to see. Anyway, if you enjoyed this look, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. Leave me a comment and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Hey everyone, I know you have been waiting for this. This is my take on a dark, evil, fairy makeup look for Halloween. You could integrate this into a bunch of different looks, even stuff like if you're dressing up as a witch or something. I feel like this makeup look would look really, really cool. Um, it's not perfect, but I did try my best. I kind of just made it up 